हेलो एवरी वन दिस इज़ सोनिया हेयर फ्रॉम ग्रोइंग क्राफ्ट एंड आई एम बैक विथ माई अनादर टू यूजल एंड दिस टाइम इट्स अ बिग 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 टैग इन मिक्स मीडिया सो फॉर माई बेस दिस टाइम इंस्टेड ऑफ अ कैनवस आई वॉन्टेड टू ट्राई माई हैंड्स ऑन थिक बोर्ड्स एंड आई गॉट इट लोकली लेट सी हाउ इट टर्नज आउट सो फॉर माई प्राइमर आई एम यूजिंग जैसो फ्रॉम फिनाबेर आई एम जस्ट ट्राइंग टू मेक श्योर दैट आई कवर अप द कम्प्लीट स्पेस ऑफ माई बेस सो दैट I really can work with different mediums on it and it blends with my different mediums. So once my gesso is done, now I am going to use my new stencil pack from Mudra. I really love the design and the quality of the stencil. I'm just trying to figure out that where I have to put it and I think this is the correct location. So now I'm going to apply my texture paste again from Fenabare. I really love them and these are like a must for my all the projects. So I'm just trying to cover up the complete design so and it's beautiful. I'm sure it's going to look good. Let's see. Let's see how it turns out. So I'm quite happy with it. I'll just remove the extra and this looks good. So once it dries out completely i'm going to use my uh, custom made stamp with a carvel ink pad these are like permanent ink pads and perfect for mixed media artwork so this looks good now i'll be covering up the edges of my tag with blue shade from uh, distress ink i just want to distress my edges with uh, the blue shade as i'm planning to make this one in blue and white combination only so i'll be using only blue white and maybe a tinge of purple just to add little drama to my colors so once i'm done with uh, shading on the edges i just realized that it's looking a little empty so maybe i can use a bit of my texture paste with the stencil on the edges so i have decided to use the corner portion one fourth portion of the design on the edges so that it looks in a complete combo the theme i'm just trying to uh, make sure that i cover up the edges of the tags properly cause those are the portions which will be very clearly visible as i'll be using acrylic colors and uh, some or maybe some other textures let's see let's see when when it dries out what i come up with so it's done and it has dried out completely now and i'm really happy with the base so Let's go ahead. Now to cover up my portion with the colors, I am using the shimmer paint from Crafty Scrappers. This one is my latest crazy supply, which I'm using like crazy. These are like super fab. You just need a drop, not even a drop, to cover up a complete this big size tag. Once I'm done with the coloring, I am going to remove my extra colors with the help of a wet wipe. When my colors are still wet on the tag, and I'm going to just give a little highlight to the end portions of my texture paste. Once I'm done with it, now I'm going to complete my tag with embellishments. So for this, I'm using. blue and purple ribbon 
chibbur from paperacious and feather from etsibitsi i am using the same color to cover up my chipboard as i said i am working on the same theme so this is really going to complement my background and give a nice shimmery effect to it now the fun part begins now i am going to actually layer out my complete thing so first i'll be using a glue drop to a point where i'm going to actually make a bow glue drops are super easy they are very handy and are very easy to use and it really last long this is my experience so i really like using glue drops on my projects here and there and these are super handy now i'm again going to use a blue color ribbon to it and i just want to make sure that i tie both the knots at one point as that's the point where i'm going to use my feather and stick my chipboard the fun part of mixed media is playing around with the different embellishments textures and colors and it's really exciting to see the final product after finishing up my bow with the glue drops i am going to use my embellishments and chipboard to complete my project i'll be using shimmer paint here and there just to give it a final touch up So I'm done with my tutorial. I hope you like this tag. Please do subscribe to my channel. Hit a like button if you liked it. And if you have any queries, feel free to comment below and I'll be happy to help you. Thank you.